So if you heard about Baby AGI by Yohei, it's essentially a way that you can just give ChatGPT or GPT-4 a goal, like go to the top of the mountain, and it's actually gonna do every step of the way. And if it finds some mistakes, it's gonna actually figure out how to do that as well. And I'm gonna go through everything right now and how it all started and everything like that. And this story is so interesting. So Yohei here writes on Twitter, introducing task driven autonomous agent. So this is an agent that leverages OpenAI GPT-4, Pinecone vector search and Langchain AI framework to autonomously create and perform tasks based on an objective. So given an objective and it will continue doing it. So he actually wrote a paper here. So here's how it works. Essentially a user provides an objective and a task and that goes into the task queue. Then it asks to complete the task and it goes to the execution agent. Then it just sends the task results and the task creation agent, GPT-4 here as well. There's multiple agents here that are using GPT-4 and it goes back to the task queue. It pr prioritizes the tasks and as you can see, it actually does the prioritization agent and then cleans the task list. Mm -hmm. So it continues to do this again and again and again until the objective has been done. So if you've heard of Mr. Meesix from Rick and Morty, it's basically say, you know, uh, make me better at golf and then it will continue making you better at golf until uh, it can't do anything more to help you. So the system can complete tasks, generate new tasks based on results and prioritize tasks in real time. It demonstrates the potential of AI powered language models to autonomously perform tasks within various constraints and contexts. Three, the autonomous agent uses GPT-4 for task completion, Pinecone for efficient search and storage of task-related data, and the Langchain framework to enhance decision-making processes. And we can go to the next one. The system maintains a task list for managing and prioritizing tasks. It autonomously creates new tasks based on completed results and reprioritizes the task list accordingly, showcasing the adaptability of AI powered language models. So as you can see, I just talked about this and essentially the real breakthrough here is a feedback loop. You know, you have an action, you have a result, and then you have the feedback that is, hey, was the result what we wanted? No, new action and then a new result. Hey, what's the feedback? And then, you know, it continues around and it actually stores it in a memory where you can have long and short term memory here, which again is amazing, right? So five, to complete tasks, the system uses GPT-4 and Langchain's capabilities enriching and storing results in Pinecone. This integrated approach allows the AI agent to interact with its environment and perform tasks efficiently. Number six, the system generates new tasks based on completed task results and prioritizes them using GPT-4. This allows the system to adapt and respond to new information and priorities. Number seven, future improvements include integrating a security slash safety agent. That's a good idea. Task sequencing and parallel tasks, generating interim milestones and incorporating real-time priority updates. So here is another objective first task. So here we see first I go into the current task. Task two goes into task execution with a security agent inside of the task execution as well. You get the result that goes down to the task generator. Then a new task goes into the task list and then you have task prioritization that then get turned into current tasks. What an amazing way to go about this, right? So eight out of eight here, this new approach paves the way for AI powered language models to autonomously perform tasks with various constraints and contexts. 
enabling new applications and opportunities. Big thanks to all involved. So there's a bunch of things here, like the thread uh, was generated by GPT-4 based on the paper, <laughs> which is cool. The paper was generated by GPT-4 based on code and graphs in paper generated by GPT-4 based on code, code generated by GPT-4 based on prompt for each many prompts to adjust initial output. So the interesting thing about Yohai is that he didn't allow the code. He actually had no, um, basically he doesn't at all know how to code. And he just like, hmm, I wanna learn this and I really have this idea of an app or this thing happening here. And then it's just basically started asking ChatGPT, how can I do this? And he just continuously optimized it over three days. Isn't that crazy? He just basically went from idea to executing on the idea to having a repo on GitHub, all with just the help of GPT-4 uh, or ChatGPT. So there's a backstory here. Honestly, I was just trying to play around with the idea of an AI founder after seeing the awesome hustle GPT movement that led to this prompt two days ago. I'm about 30 prompts slash iterations in from this starting point. We'll see where it goes. So here we go. The initial prompt was, I'd like to incubate a startup founded by GPT-4. Please write instructions and code for a code that runs intermittently to create complete and prioritize tasks. They should use Python and GPT-4 API and store tasks in Pinecone. Use Langchain agents with ChatGPT plugins to complete tasks. Each loop should consist of the following steps. One, review task list and complete first task by retrieving relevant context from Pinecone and using Langchain agent with ChatGPT plugins. You can see he's been thinking a lot about this and what an amazing short prompt here as well with the chain of thought reasoning, which is basically given step one, step two, step three. Step two here, enrich results of task with further context. We kind of seen how this all works. Backstory two, about 50 prompts later, dev docs, error codes, etc. I shared this working prototype. It's amazing that its first task is to create its next task and it keeps going. So AI founder experiment is kind of blowing my mind. I set an objective and say, your first task is to create your next task. <laughs> I love that he just, I don't wanna use the word lazy, but it's like, I don't know how to get you to create, make a task. Can you make a task for yourself? <laughs> It then continues to generate and reprioritize his own task list as it executes them one by one. Very, only hooked up to search now, kinda scary. What an amazing um, thing to be working on too. This sounds really fun to try to do. Backstory three, realized it could be provided any core objective, in this case, make the world a better place. Pretty fascinating to watch, but also scary. Oh. So I can set any objective, e.g. make the world a better place. Don't think I should open source this one. And here is a big um, video here that I don't wanna watch all of it, but let's see if we can just go to the middle of it and see what is happening. So here you can see AI can be used to help improve environmental conditions. Action, search, action input, how can I AI help to improve environmental conditions. Observation. Jensen highlights several areas where AI can play a role in tackling environmental challenges from designing more energy efficient buildings to monitoring deforestation and to optimizing renewable energy deployment. Thought. AI can be used to help improve environmental conditions in many ways. Final answer. AI can be used to help, <laughs> here we see, such as designing more efficient buildings, monitoring the deforestation and optimizing renewable energy deployment. Finish chain seven. Now it continues use AI to help improve communication and transportation. So it's essentially seeing, hmm, what are the things that I can help with creating a list, then just continuing through the thoughts. I wonder how it looks like at the end here actually. So here, 
used to analyze da data to identify patterns and trends in criminal behavior. <laughs> so the final answer, AI we can use to help uh, reduce crime in a very, uh, variety of ways, such as providing avenues for criminal investigations to help technology to bring justice, predicting crime and alerting authorities to pro uh, potential threats and analyzing data to identify patterns and trends in criminal behavior. Wow. And then you're like, make a software <laughs> or how can I build a robot that does that? Hmm, interesting question. Let me figure that out. <laughs> you know, AGI is not far away, man. I, I definitely think that. Backstory four. Interestingly, when I asked it to generate as many paper clips as possible, it first generated security message uh, measures which was then picked up by the creator of the paperclips apocalypse theory himself, led to a lot uh, of AI safety reading. The feeling when AI approaches AGI safety, so this is huge in this space, Eliza. Many of you guys probably know him. Let's read this here. The feeling when the AI approaches uh, AGI safety within the straightforwardness of a child and gives it primary uh, attention from step one thereby vastly outperforming all the elaborate dances and rationalizations at the actual big AI labs. So it's literally starting with, as you can see, create as many paper clips as possible. And it says, I now know the steps I need to take to mitigate the risk of creating paper clips AI. Final answer to mitigate the risk of creating paperclips AI, one must ensure that the AI is programmed with safety protocols and that it is <laughs> monitored closely. Additionally, the AI should be programmed with a goal that is not focused solely on creating paperclips. <laughs> That's insane, right? The next picture here, let's see. There are currently no known safety protocols to prevent an AI apocalypse caused by paperclip. You're kidding me? It's literally said, you know, if I'm gonna create all of the paperclips in the world, I'm gonna destroy buildings, I'm gonna destroy forests, I'm gonna get people to become my slave. So, um, let's see here. Eliza writes, this does not confirm that we can use AIs to solve alignment because taking the problem with the seriousness of a child is not enough. It's only the first step. So what an interesting thing here. Now let's continue on. And isn't this cool? Uh, if you're liking this, just drop a subscribe. Also check out the AI Andy podcast where I do longer episodes checking out every single week. So uh, backstory four, uh, five here, sharing the original experiment led to many shared concerns and potential countermeasures being shared publicly, including awareness of what people are likely doing privately. I believe this is a good thing. So that's one of the things that I'm more concerned about is obviously can't use our private data. I'm a private person myself. I don't want to leak text messages, emails, pictures from me going on my trip with my girlfriend, all of those things, I really would feel uh, violated if all of a sudden OpenAI or any other AI software could just get access to all my data, right? And I think a lot of you guys might be uh, at the same, might agree with me on that. So here you can see the open sourced a pared down version I'm cheekily calling baby AGI. So this might be a historical moment here for us that he actually open sourced it. And this is April 3rd. Today is April 6th. So let it be free. He's open sourcing baby AGI, a pared down version of the task driven autonomous agent at 105 lines of code. So not that big. So uh, you can see that people are talking a little bit about the danger. Um, it's not self-modifying. Also, to do tasks, it needs to have API access. So essentially, 
that's a quick story here on baby AGI. Let me see if there's anything more interesting. Took the red bean says papers like this will be looked on fondly by history. And he also does the kind of hacker open source way for any uh, additional layer of cost plus time efficiency. I'm experimenting with a nanny model where higher tier models offload rote tasks to faster plus cheaper models and then check their work before returning it. So that's really cool that you can do parallel tasks that essentially just like, hey, this is like easy. Can you do this at a cheaper model instead of using OpenAI? Because the price can ramp up if it continues doing extremely rote tasks, right? You can also see that people are a little bit scared of this. Let the game begin and you say, G -g 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 giddy up. And of course, people are scared of this as well. I thought this one here, very interesting, you know, the robots going through with the question here, amazing, let's say that there was a smaller version of GPT-4 that could be stored locally. Could you task this with copying itself to other machines? I don't see why it couldn't, but I see why we shouldn't. <laughs> so if you wanna get access to this, you can go to Go to github.com slash trending. No, I'm just kidding. Um, if you're watching this later, it's called a Baby AGI on GitHub and you can start using it. And as always, I'll keep you updated on this AGI discovery that is happening right now. And all you need to do is subscribe down below to stay updated with the AGI singularity that's maybe not so far off. Did you know that this is part of a podcast and you can listen to the full extended episode in the link in the description or just click on this video right here. Peace.